what's up you guys <clears throat> sorry welcome back to my channel my name is Mayama. you can call me mom for easy notification you can call me Emmy. so so then we'll talk about so uh, it's like a follow-up video on mr kim yeah the korean national that died in sierra leone that committed suicide so a lot of stuff have been going on a lot of things have been going through but like i did the first video i will not add any pictures or stuff because of youtube laws and everything some contents are copyright owned but i make a few notes here like i did the last time about things that i think are upsetting me the more that are yet to be attended to first thing first after this video i just want to explain Bless my you know condolence again once more to the family the friends and all the people that have lost their job due to this man's passing yes it was a boss that i had over 400 or so of sierra leoneans give them a job a source of livelihood and a source of income to look after their families and now he's dead i don't know if the company is still going on or not but i'm not too sure because at this crisis it would have been shut down for investigative reasons but there are certain things that i was expecting to happen in relation to this man's case that is yet to happen and i don't know why i can't place my hands around it i don't know why the government of sierra leone is yet to do anything in relation to this man's death if you're watching my video for the first time my instagram handle is mams193 if you have any content you want to share with me you can look me up there if you don't want to go to instagram and search too much you this is my youtube channel you go to the about section you go to the home page i think it's videos channels playlists and then you channels yeah you see about when you go to the about section in this youtube channel you will see a link for instagram you click on it it doesn't take you directly to my personal instagram page and then if you have anything to share with me you can feel free and go ahead to do that and be rest assured i'm going to talk about it so let's get straight into the things that i want to talk about the first thing i mark here are unanswered questions this is the first thing on my mind there are so many unanswered questions i don't know why this okay yeah there are so many unanswered questions here we have so many things in my head like we don't know whether it was murder suicide sickness or anything like that I don't have any recollections if, if, if a post mortem was carried on. I've got to know that he has been buried. There has been a ceremony that has gone on. Saput, I think his body was incarnated or something like that in India. He was taken to a laid also in his hometown for some rituals. And I guess he has been buried. May he so continue to rest in peace. But there are so many unanswered questions. If there was an investigation carried to determine the actual cause of death, because according to the articles I've seen, this man was a very strong and courageous man. Very strong and courageous man. I'm just saying this allegedly. I'm not saying he was murdered. But I'm saying allegedly, if there was a post-mortem carried on to determine whether he was, he was sick, if it was a suicide, or if it was something that's got to do with somebody, we know the level at which people can get to get money. We know the level people can go the extreme some certain people can go the extreme edge of even taking someone out of the way to be able to ascertain their plans and their ploys to bring them to life so we don't know what happened we are just talking about a little surface thing that are coming out we don't know what is underneath but what i'm not happy with is the, so many un unanswered questions like the, the government they release a press release okay yeah but what else has been done? We have questions that are yet to be answered. The second thing, on here, unresolved investigations. Nothing like that has been carried on. No investigations whatsoever has been made on this man's suicide. Like the people involved that pushed him to this extreme that he could no longer bear the heat. Have they been investigated? This government... This current government in Sierra Leone, if they are giving awards to president that can arrest people within the twinkle of an eye, trust me, he will win that award. Because he can arrest people eh, 
just like that not like that so i don't know why we have not seen any press release of that these men that were messing with this man's business have been arrested and put for investigations like they normally do for other cases they, they are very quick to arrest the oppo uh, opposition party and other party uh, people we we know the case of uh, that man that has uh i, th I, know, I don't think it's kind of young i think it's uh, the one that was involved in the rape case i did a video no i did not the video about him but there was this uh, presidential candidate that they said as a situation with rape and everything we know before the case was even carried out and proper investigation carried on he was already arrested and now i think it's been uh, he has been arrested for so many times people don't know where he is right now so i don't know why this same government that are very quick in arresting people and putting up investigations are yet to arrest this man that were messing with this man's business and finances and put them under investigation so we have unresolved questions we have unresolved investigations that should be carried on to enable to give clarity and justice to this man to encourage other investors to come and invest in our country no matter what they want to say no matter what they want to say yeah they don't have that finances to boost the country they themselves are busy boosting themselves up so we need investors in our country but things like this going on with so many unanswered questions and so many unresolved investigations it will push away investors from coming to sierra leone and what will that do that will shrink the economy of the country people will go poor hunger debt and that will be a very catastrophic thing to happen and we don't want that so this government they need to level up their game get this man behind in cid behind bars and start investigating what they were up to while were they are squatting this amount of money from this man and push him to his death they need questions to be answered there is like no the second third thing no justice has been given to this man i've not seen anyone being arrested I've not seen people being held accountable. Nothing like that. And now I'm talking about unemployment for the culprits. Yes. Under this man, there were more than 400 people working for him in his business, in his fisheries business, that he gave job. These people have temporarily or even permanently lost their jobs. We don't know whether they are going to get another job within a short period of time to kick their family and their responsibility back on track but these same people that pushed this man to their to his death are still working why they should be relieved of their duty kept in cid for investigations that is what the president should do he's not even talking about talking about a ministry of that or that because the ministry was the ones shrinking this man this is what the president should do now because this is an international investor there are partnerships to countries that help boost the economy and this one is very important because he has so many good things he has been doing for Sierra Leone. So many good lives, like he has improved lives with his, with his kindness. He deserves every mention. And then the thing I want to talk about is public apology. Not the notes that they write to. I'm talking about public apology giving speech on TV. Our president in Sierra Leone is very good to come out on television to talk. When he's staying, when when it's relating to things that will bring money to his pocket, he will come out. We all know what happened during the COVID, that end of COVID in Sierra Leone. Around that same time, a month back, Sierra Leone prison was caught on fire. So many people died. So many prisoners were shot dead. They were buried on unidentified grave sites that their family members don't know about this man did not come out to apologize to these people or sympathize with them on national tv for the very first day they recorded one corona case <laughs> no one covid yeah one covid case this man was on tv reports uh, uh, confirmed cases one this is the way he read news. I repeat, confirmed cases one. He always looked to a paper. I don't know why he can't speak from his head. He went on TV to talk about that. When it's money relating to get contract deals, 
you will go on TV to talk about them. For this second lockdown, he's planning to make or this second curfew <coughs> or stuff like that. He went on TV to talk about that, even though he was reading. I think I think the paper or the computer where he was reading from was standing just like that. He was reading directly, penetrating directly into this content and reading. He was even making eye contact with the camera. He talked about it. Why haven't he come out to make a video and apologize to the family and the people of Korea? Mm -hmm. Why? An investor that has been in the county for over 30 years have changed life, provide jobs, paying his taxes and doing everything he can to comply and abide by the rules and regulations of the county. Committed suicide in your county. So many lives have been affected by his demise, or his demise, or his passing, or his death. Why haven't the president come out to give a public apology and sympathize with this man's family and the entire nation of Korea? Why? Or because the money will not, the, the speech will not bring money. You see, there is something that is lacking in this world that we are living in. A lot of people don't have kindness or compassion in them again. People only care about money. When this thing involves money, you will see them there. People don't even have the decency to be kind and to be nice and to, be, to have good feelings about other people. They only care about what will bring money. And as a president, sorry, I'm giving up with time, I have to go out. As a president, you should be... Okay, they say the president is the first gentleman of every county. Why are you not... Acting? Oh my goodness. Got my phone. Who is calling me? Oh, sorry about that little hiccup there. Okay, it's not call. It's my alarm. I have to go out. I'm going to wrap up this video. I still have about 20 minutes before... The boss passed by my house. So, as a first gentleman of the country, you should be a gentleman. This man is a foreigner, an investor in the country where you are currently ruling as a president. I don't even know how to define president now at this time in age of mine and what is going on in Sierra Leone. But, try to continue to play the role you are playing, even if you're just acting. Look, I think you are acting in moving Sierra Leone that we are, we are sitting and watching how it's going to end. Because you are not working, you are acting. So please do a video on national TV. Let that video go viral on YouTube or every platform. Let the people of Korea know that the president care about their brother, their son, uncle and relative that just passed on. They need justice. These people need justice. What has happened to their child in your county? The least you could do for them is send them a sympathy and an apology. I'm not talking about written notes. No. When COVID crisis came in Sierra Leone, I don't know if Sierra Leone have COVID, that's why I'm smiling. But you went on national TV. When you want to talk about partnership and investment that will bring money that you will not use for the purpose, you go on national TV. This man has passed on. Lives, Sierra Leoneans' lives have been affected. His employees have been affected. Their families and the extended families have been affected. You might not have apologized to the prisoners and officers that died at that uh, uh, Padamba Road fire outbreak, which is still bleeding in, in some of us in our hearts. This one too has happened. Is there no compassion or sympathy or kindness inside of you? Your wife is very active on social media. I don't know why even if she has not said about this or why hasn't she done a video and sent it as sympathy to the people of Korea and this man's family because she's very active in social media. She's even doing TikTok, TikTok videos. She's very active on social media. You guys should do this. You guys not doing this led to my other property like two for 
number six disrespect you guys not making this apology on national tv is a disrespect to this man's family and the entire nation of korea and even to the nation of sierra leone because you are portraying us to be people that have no compassion and no kindness and don't care about someone else sierra leoneans we are kind we might have this we might have been through the very past three years since you took office might have been very rough and things are going hard in Sierra Leone right now. But trust me, we are very good people with kind hearts. We are extremely kind. I know that. We are very compassionate and very emotional and sensitive to other people's feelings. Even though things are changing, people are now trying to involve themselves too much in money and forgetting about the basic principles in life. But as a president, those attributes should be con connected to you compassion kindness and respect apologize to these people don't disrespect them like this and the final thing i want to talk about i'm going to end this video you the presidents and the people of sierra leone you and the people of sierra leone i'm in sierra leone so i'm asking you now we the people of sierra leone we are asking you if you fail to answer to unanswered questions if you fail to do unresolved investigations, if you fail to deliver justice to this man, if you fail to relieve this culprit out of their jobs and put them behind bars, if you fail to give a public apology, and if you fail to give these people respect, they will consider you to be inhuman. Because a human being will love this attribute, compassion and kindness and respect. This thing is sad. It's not something we should just sit around. It's not because he's a foreigner. For me, in my own world, I don't know about other people, but I consider everybody to be a brother and a sister. I don't care about skin tone. I don't care about where you're coming from or where I'm coming from, whether you are from this table or from that tribe. The only thing I know, we are human beings and we have to act accordingly. These days, I don't even animals have more compassion. Like animals are having more compassion than humans now. Humans are just focused on getting the material things, the money, the car. Someone might be dying, they will, they will not even care. So please, there are so many things that need to be done. Investigations, answered questions, sack these people that caused this man's misfortune, put them behind bars, investigate, do all the necessary things, do a speech apology, send your sympathy to people of Korea and this man's family. Then, be a human being. Don't be inhuman. I will not even compare to animals because like I said earlier, animals are now more compassionate. I've seen videos where dogs are helping their masters. And cats are also being kind to their owners. Humans, we need to do better. And the president and his executive in Sierra Leone, you guys need to do better in relation to this man's death. Until next time, my name is Mariama. Thank you for watching my video. And I'm sending my love and peace to every civil union, including you, Mr. President, and your wife and your family. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm just trying to remind you a little bit what it feels like to be a human being with kindness, compassion, and good and a very good heart and good intention for foreigners to come to Sierra Leone and feel safe and feel that everything concerning them will be protected because the president is a good man. Don't try to repeat, don't try to damage our reputation and destroy our good image. Sierra Leoneans, we are very kind, hardworking, and good people. No matter what is going on, but deep inside every single Leonean, you may see going through some amount of rage and anger and frustration. Deep inside, there is a Sierra Leonean in that person, which is that kindness and compassion and love for every person, not only people of Sierra Leone, but also foreigners. Stay blessed. I love you guys, and may God continue to keep all of us safe and may God be with the family, friends, and relatives of this man. From my heart, I said, may his soul continue to rest in peace and may peace dwell among his family. May, the, may God help them to heal because it's not easy, but with God, all things are possible. I love you guys. Stay blessed and God bless you all.